All right, hello everyone, and here we are with a special edition of Rivals Champions. Today we have yet another nonsense attempt at video. So Andreas has created a basically a, a wheel that spins to tell you what unit you're going to play, and uh, Volkos wants me to to try this as uh, as the as the event deck. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing three games with each deck the wheel gives us, and then switching. Um, we're gonna in four times and get four units and then we're gonna have to then we're gonna put the last two in ourselves so that we can actually have a coherent deck each each time and every three games we're gonna change all right so here is the wheel so we're gonna spin the wheel four times and see what we're playing all right so we're playing militant all right pretty good start so far militant's a strong unit I'm not sure about commander. I don't think commanders are on here. So I think I get to pick my own commander. Militia formed. So we get militants. Uh... Elf tank. Pretty good. Chemical Warriors. Chemical Warriors! And final unit that we have to play is... Giga Cannon. Alright, well, this is a pretty good deck already. I mean, Chem's a bit weird in a Giga deck, but we've got... So we're going to play Oxana if we're playing Giga. Um, we've got an opening unit in Militants. We probably want to play Lasers. lasers. And we've got Chem's our anti-infantry. We've got... Giga stealth tank, so we probably just need bikes, I guess, would be the most most sensible last unit. Yes, I think bikes. Alright, so this is the deck we're going to be playing for the first three matches, and then we'll spin the wheel again and see what we get. Establishing battlefield control. So this deck's ended up being pretty good. We don't have any random tech splash. We have a couple of anti-infantry units and a, and a decent anti-air unit as our forced picks. The one thing I don't like about this deck is it has militants and chemical warriors. Um, I don't like decks that play militant and chemical warrior as their anti-infantry because they're actually kind of weak to flames and shocks. Like these are the only things you have that kill infantry, so you get flame and you can get spammed out of the game by flames and shocks. Uh, it's not so bad when you have Giga though, because obviously Giga is also a pretty good anti-infantry unit. Once you park a Giga in the back, you're good to go. All right, so opponent's gone MG. I'm just going to keep making rifles so that when he moves the MG, we can push in on it. Yeah, there's some shocks. Okay, so he's got shocks and MG. Very weird deck. I think we're going to back up and make the Giga. Oops, we'll bring the Giga down here. Alright, so we actually can't push into an MG with a Giga Cannon, the MG will win. But we can move in while it's moving. And boost and maybe kill it here. Yeah, once we get charged up, we kill them pretty quickly. Nice. Go after his Harvester. Right, so we'll kill the harvester and then we'll just kill the base with the giga, I think. Alright, pretty easy first game. You are victorious. Three, 
Okay, so we're gonna open with rifles. Then go harvester. Oh, we've got MG first. Alright, well that's pretty easy. If we catch it while it's moving, it'll die very easily. Another MG. Move in and get some damage on it while it's still setting up. So he's not playing, um... He's not playing, um... Liang either, which is what makes MGs scary. So I'm not too worried here. A couple of damaged MGs shouldn't be too hard to figure to finish off uh, later on. Alright. Push into this one. Push into the next one. He also has no harvester, so... Yeah, kind of a total freebie. I guess we're gonna kill his base again. That was pretty easy. Cool. <laughs> Didn't really need this strong a deck uh, at the start. Establishing battlefield control. Definitely could have had a slightly weaker deck at the start of the event and probably done alright. Kind of wasted uh, wasted our good rolls on this one. So he's playing Liang, so he's probably going to go double harvester. Get another rifle. Oh, okay, he's gone barracks and air tower. And another MG player. Alright then. This time Liang though, so a lot scarier. Yep, can't ever kill a Liang MG. It's just not possible. We're just going to ignore it. Going to get bites because he probably makes Talon next to try and take back the pads. Yep, there it is. We'll make a Giga Cannon. We want to prevent him from moving in with MGs like he's trying to do here. So we're going to push in because we have the chems to support. Alright, cool. Got rid of the MG. Alright, I think we're going to take this game pretty easily as well. Alright, that's 3 and 0. So now we're going to spin the wheel again and switch up our deck. Alright, let's get the wheel back up and see what we're playing next. So the first unit we're playing is Venom. Alright, pretty good start. Decent unit. There's actually most units in Rivals are pretty good now. If you look at my tier video, shameless plug, 
you'll see that there's only a few units that are in like the fully unplayable tier. So as long as we don't just roll a million um, tech units, we should be good. Should be able to make a decent deck each time. Alright, so Venom. Militant again. Destroy the GDI. Scavenger. Pretty good start. Oops, don't know what's going on there. Uh, a little bit laggy. And our last unit we have to play is... Inferno. Okay, well, this is a pretty good deck again. Um, so I think we just play a double harvester like Inferno Bomber deck. So we play Inferno Phantom, Venom. Um, our last unit should probably be Bikes, I guess. A cheap anti-vehicle. We have Bikes and Scavengers. Um, maybe Scorpion, actually. Yeah, I don't know. This is close between Scorpion and Bikes. I think I'm going to play Bikes. Um, and we're going to stick with Voxana because of the Infernos. Alright, so this is going to be our deck for the next three games. Alright, so we're going to open with rifles, make sure we're not getting rushed by anything. Wheels, that's fine. We'll go harvester, then we'll go scavenger. Make sure he doesn't block our harvester from harvesting. So we should get some money off of this uh, wheel, which is nice. Another wheel coming in. Guess we'll make another scavenger. Flamers. Alright, well we have Venom in the deck, so we'll just go straight into Venom. We need to be aware of incoming bikes. So we need the scavengers to be in position. Ooh. Push the scavengers up. Yep, there's the bikes. As expected. And then they're going to come around here, but there's going to be an inferno waiting for them. I'm going to let these die. So I get the 10 from that, and then you get a 10 here as well. We'll back these up. Move the inferno down. And we'll make another inferno. We're basically, just going to spam infernos. That's kind of the game plan of a deck like this. Go after the harvester, and then we can maybe go after the base as well. Oh, he's just surrendered. All right, cool. <laughs> Good job, Infernos. So far, two pretty good decks. Nothing terrible yet. Okay, we're getting Marauder Rushed, which is pretty easy to defend against when we haven't got a Harvester. That's probably game, honestly. I don't see how he comes back from this. I even have Scavengers. I could just play no Harvester if I wanted to. I don't really want to, though, because I have Inferno in my deck. I'm going to push him here, and we're going to... Park our militants up at the top to be ready to block his harvester if he makes one. Yep, there it is. Don't know if we're going to block it again. We do. Very nice. going yeah, to block it for as long as we can. Okay, 
And then we'll go Venom. We want to push. Uh, we want to push for an Inferno as quickly as possible, because our opponent is very low on money. Can't afford to tech switch quickly. We want to make an Inferno quickly. He's probably going to make bikes soon. Yep, there they are. Very predictable. Be pretty easy first missile here. Do lose the Inferno, but I think that's okay. A lot of bikes. Oops. Need to go here and try and double bomb these bikes. I'll leave fire there as well, so it's harder for him to go after the harvester. As you can see, the bikes die very quickly to the fire. They're a squad. Alright, opponent's also double harvester now. I think I might have, uh, I thought maybe it got the chem buggy as well, but it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna keep making infernos, it doesn't look like he can beat them really. Oh, there's a cyborg. Oh, my infernos all just fired by accident. Oh, game's over, never mind. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to make a phantom, unfortunately. Alright, so one more with this deck. And then we're back on the wheel. Doctor Dad, dude, a weird name. Ugh. I could see some of the decks from the wheel being really bad if you did all six units from the wheel. I think then your deck would be like quite often horrendous because you just like you wouldn't have an answer to something. Like you just you'd have like no anti-air unit or something. But when you're when you're rolling four and picking two. I think it's quite easy to fill in the, the gaps that are left in your deck. Alright, so he's gone f Venom first, which is medium insane. He's gonna back up and go wheels. Anyone who goes Venom first is like, almost certainly playing laser drones as well. Yep. That's <laughs> so predictable. These should all die to the bike volume. Yes. Double Harvester, obviously. We might be able to get our uh, Phantom Bounty done at least. That's some upside. Got a Windows update. Inferno, go after the Harvester. Oh, there's a Widowmaker. Alright, we need the Inferno for that. And some bikes to finish it off. There's some Cyborgs, gonna need Inferno for that as well. Really need more Infernos here. Pop caps, we can't get them. Here we go. Get another Inferno. Parks some units on this pad. 
All right, cool. Didn't manage to build both phantoms, sadly, for the bounty. All right, <laughs> six and oh. Back to the wheel, boys. Okay, so the wheel says... Mutant Marauder, all right. Second unit is... Tick Tank, all right, not looking good so far. Two units that are basically the same thing. Laser drone. Okay, so we've got three anti vehicle units. None of which shoot up. <laughs> uh, and chemical warriors. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. I can live with that. So now we have two slots left. We need an anti air unit and probably an anti vehicle, anti infantry vehicle. Maybe a cheap one. I feel like wheel stealth tank makes the most sense. Deck's very expensive. Um, the only thing we have that shoots up is the stealth tank. We're going to be very weak to Venoms and Talons. Um, like, very, very weak. Stealth tank is not going to... We're also going to be very weak to laser drones. Uh, it's difficult. Maybe, maybe we should put in Scavenger or Laser instead of one of these units. We could, I could, we could put in lasers and open lasers instead of wheels. That might work. And then maybe the stealth tank might be worse than a Phantom. Because then I can open into... I can basically play a two-building deck. Yeah, I think that makes more sense, actually. I think we're going to do this. Um, and then I don't know if we'll ever actually make a tick tank. And the commander is going to be... It should be either Seth or Oksana. Maybe it could play Jade. I think Seth makes sense because we're so... Our deck's so expensive, though. This is tough. Our only anti-infantry unit is Chemicals at the moment. Yeah, this is awkward. This is, this is a difficult one. Um, if we play Venom, then we're really weak to air. Yeah, this is very difficult. I think we're going to have to play Seth, because I think we need more anti-infantry power, since we only have chemicals. But even then, both our anti-infantry infantry, anti infantry infantry, both our anti-infantry will be infantry, which sucks. This deck looks very bad. Um, this one's going to be really difficult. Yeah, this one's going to be really hard. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go with this for now. But yeah, this deck looks this deck looks pretty pretty shocking. I would love to have like a Talon. If I had Talon instead of Venom, this would be a oh, Phantom. Sorry, it'd be a lot better. Because then we have anti infantry and a little bit more anti air. The Phantom only does anti air, so it's going to be a little bit you know narrow. All right, so we haven't really got an opening unit either. We have to open with lasers. And then we have beefy boys and chemical warriors who are also pretty beefy boys. But they both cost 60, so... Switching, like, switch tech switching is going to be really expensive as well. Like, we only have a 70 cost unit in here. We've got laser drones as one of our cheapest units, so we might have to lean on them a little bit. But laser drones without venoms are a lot worse. Here he opens. He opens militants. That's very bad for us because we have to wait for 60 to fight them. Alright, so he's going to push in to try and kill my guys. This is actually a mistake because it means that I spawn my unit next to his and get to immediately start shooting it. As you can see, he's just lost two militant squads and killed half a laser squad. So that didn't really work out that well for him. He has a Venom. Like I said, I'm weak to, weak to air early. Venom and Talon is going to be two of the hardest units for me to deal with. I have to spam lasers until we get to the mid game and can afford um, can afford a phantom. I so definitely don't want to be charging the pads either. Oh, double venom. We definitely need, we have phantom really soon, but yeah, we're still a little ways away. Oh, he's just spamming them. Oh my god, the nightmare. Right. Yeah. 
We're gonna have to sacrifice our harvester, I think, to get a chance at this missile. Alright, so we take the missile, we are gonna lose the harvester almost certainly because of it. So that's okay. The missile's more important than the harvester. Uh, yeah, I guess chems. A little bit surprised my opponent conceded the missile. Actually, no, I'm not. It's rivals. That's what everyone does. I'm constant, constantly amazed by the fact that's what everyone does, but it is what everyone does. Wow, he's just uh, he's just going ham on my harvester. He doesn't care about anything else. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll make some beefy boys. They're pretty good against bikes. Wow, four bike squadrons. Interesting choice. Looks like we should be good here. Alright, we do manage to take one game. Not sure why the guy conceded the uh, conceded the missile for the harvester, but there you go. That was a tough one. The next, the next two are going to be pretty tough as well. This deck is, uh, this deck is exceptionally poor. I think the lasers are a requirement though. It's just there's no, no other early game. Establishing battlefield control. Normally I like to open scout unit, but when it's lasers, I don't feel as comfortable doing it because I can't really re react quickly to anything anyway. But I need to get my economy online quickly. Militants again, very bad for me. This guy does not walk up though. He knows. Oh, no, hang on. Maybe I can bait him into it. Yeah, got him. Ah, not quite. Almost. Almost baited him into it. This is probably another militant squad over here. Yes, it is. That's fine, chems will easily beat two militants. What's this? Third militant, sure. I'm gonna block him off so he can't get the 2v1 against the chems. And make some more chems. Hoping he doesn't go venom. Man, everyone's going venom. Can't actually fight venom before phantom, so I think we're gonna lose the first missile here. Lasers just don't cut it. That's probably a third Venom as well. Alright, so we lose the first missile because we can't fight. We can't. We literally just can't fight Venoms in the early games. We have no unit that fights a Venom. And we have to preserve this. Uh, we have to preserve this Phantom because if we lose it, we're in a lot of trouble. Because we can't afford a new one. The tank for some reason. I have no units that tank is good against. I have no earthly idea why he's made a tank. Ah! Didn't select the phantom in time. I think the phantom's gonna die. Yeah, couldn't prevent it. Need a new one as quickly as possible. Alright, finally got the missile. 
Got a lot of money now as well. Let's get a tick tank and park it in the middle of the map. It should be difficult for him to remove. I've only seen Banshee that can realistically kill a tick tank in a reasonable time manner, uh, time frame. Get another one. It looks like it's pretty good against him, honestly. I think tick tank plus chem is going to be strong against him. Whoops. Did not mean to move that in. Alright, it's looking pretty good now. We've got Tic Tanks on two pads. We've got a lot of money as well. Let's move the Harvester onto the pad and use a Drill Pod just cause. Alright, I think we're going to take it. Oof. That was tough. Venom's, uh, Venom's definitely the hardest thing to fight. It takes us forever to get to Phantom to fight them. Maybe we should play in bikes instead of Phantom, but then we're really weak to Mohawks and Banshees. I guess we could use lasers. Alright, one more before we can move off of this horrible deck. Keeper. Uh, I just played this guy, didn't I? I can't remember if he was the... I can't remember which, which guy he was. Was this the guy I literally just played, or... Hopefully he doesn't just go Venom first. That would be really awkward. Alright, he still went Militants first. He's just going to spam Venoms for the first missile again. There's not a lot I can do about it. I guess I'll try and preserve my um, my lasers. Maybe get two lasers at once. Fight a Venom. That's probably what I have to do. Yeah, here it comes. I don't want to stand in the gas cloud. I think I need to go chems here. Oh, he's throwing the missile, it looks like. Oh! <laughs> Alright, feels good, man. Oh, no, through the missile. So we definitely need Phantom now, and then we're going to go... Tic Tank looked really good against him last time. So we're going to try and get Tick Tank again. But obviously it's very expensive to tech switch. Oh, nope. Not interested in that, mate. No, thank you. Definitely running away from those bikes. Yeah, we, need, we want to try and go Tick Tank, I think. Did lose the phantom, that sucks. Let's get the tick tank into the middle of the map. He's gone tank again, like before even seeing the tick. And tank isn't even good against tick. I don't know why he keeps making. I don't know why he keeps making uh, tanks. Oh, he didn't go on the pad in time. Alright, nice. Thank god we are done with this deck. Let's bring up the wheel again and see what we're playing next. Alright, first unit is... Mutant Marauder. Okay. Uh. Okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Cyber Wheel. Alright, that's nice. So we've got Mutant's Wheels. Centurion.
And our last unit is going to be... Scorpion tank. Oh dear. So three of our units are effectively tanks. Three of our units are anti-vehicle vehicles. At least we have cyber wheels this time. So we need some anti-air and some anti-infantry. Um, I probably need to play Seth again because I need the flamers. It's like having a seventh unit. Um, I need anti-air. So because we already have two buildings, two units in this building, I think we're going to go with stealth tank. Stealth tank. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I can play stealth tank. Um, we have to have anti-infantry. So it, maybe fanatics, maybe chem buggy. Hmm. It has to. Be, I think chem buggy fanat or fanatics make the most sense. We do have access to flamers as well, I guess. So it could be chem buggy. Hmm. This is tough. This is really tough. I don't see... Ah, oh man, this is so hard to build a deck here. Because we have to have anti-air. We need anti-air and anti... Um, and anti-infantry. And we only have two slots to do it in. So we need to do... We need to do units that cover, like, everything. But then we're so weak to... It was so weak to early air again. Like... Again, we have no answer to, to, like, Venom or Talon in the early game. I guess we don't necessarily need them. Because we don't have any infantry early game. But, uh, this, yeah, this is going to be very difficult. The problem is that I need... I want to put bikes in the deck. But if I put bikes in the deck, we auto lose to Orca, Mohawk, um, and any bombers. Orca, Mohawk, Orca, Bomber, Inferno... Are all auto loss if I put bikes in my deck instead of stealth tank. If I put bikes and stealth tank in my deck, then any infantry, like heavy infantry, is an auto loss. So that's the problem. Maybe the Seth, maybe Seth is our is enough. Maybe we can use maybe we can use bikes. Maybe we can do bikes and stealth tank, and then just use wheels and Seth. I don't think that's real life. Though. I don't think that's gonna work. I think we have to play Ken Buggy. Yeah, early early air is going to be a nightmare again. I don't know if Stealth Tank is good enough. It might need to be Phantom. Then we're playing an extra building as well. And this is very difficult. Maybe Venom Phantom? This is really difficult. I think Phantom is just better than Stealth Tank. But the extra building cost is so much. This Centurion is just a nightmare. Like, having this random Centurion in here. Like, Centurion, Mutant, and Scorpion Tank makes it so difficult. We just have three units to do exactly the same thing. I think we're going to have to go with this. The other option is to, to try and... To try and double harvester. I don't know because then we just we just auto lose in the early game. I think this is the best we can do. I think we're going. I think we're going to do this. All right, so I think this is the deck we're going to be playing. Unfortunately, we rolled or we got a lot of high rolls done early game. Like our first two decks were really good, and now our last two deck, these two decks have both been terrible. It would have preferred to reverse them. All right, he's gone double harvest to start, which is great for us. Him going double harvester gives us so much breathing room. 
Ah, I didn't manage to block. I feel stupid. Alright, let's go to let's go to the pad. Start charging. I think we're gonna go Scorpion Tank and then Chemical Buggy, because he's gone barracks. Yeah, there's some missiles, that's fine. We'll just roll away from them. Don't need to fight or anything. Then we're just gonna go chemical buggy. We're just gonna distract them from our harvester. Then we'll chemical buggy. Then we'll go for his harvester. Nice. Chemical buggy is so strong. We're also about to fire the missile, so that's good. Alright, cool. We did get the missile. Whoops, I misclicked. I meant to go barracks. I meant to go barracks, imme barracks immediately into this, so that was a misclick. I did mean to build the tech lab, I just meant to build barracks first for the refund, so I just spewed 30 Tiberium by accident. Alright, we're probably going to try and need to go after another harvester here. Put the Centurion out. Uh oh, a basilisk. Uh, yikes. Um, that's not good. That's really not good. It won't even die to one stealth tank. We're going to need two stealth tanks to fight a basilisk. And he's just going to keep making them, I assume. Let's tank with a centurion. Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. Alright, we're going to ignore the harvester and just try and go for the missiles. Go, 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 go. Alright, thank god for that. <laughs> Stole that win. There's no way we could beat basilisks. Ooh, man. That was tough. This deck is really bad. I can't, I mean, we're at 10 and 0 now as well. We're going to start getting decent opponents. I don't see how we're going to win two more with this one. We got very lucky that, that guy opened blind double harvester because it gave us so much extra space. Oksana is bad for us. Oksana is a good commander. Alright, so let's go wheel. Wheel into Harvester. He's going Harvester first. Let's see what he does next. Blind double Harvester again. Amazing. This is so good for us. Oh, he's a professional though. He knows how to Harvester. Right, let's get a second wheel because he's going to go lasers next. And we want to be able to protect our tank. There's the lasers. And then we're going to go tank and go for the harvester. We'll keep making wheels because he's going to keep making lasers. Oh, boost? That's not a good idea, man. You're, you're going to get shredded by these wheels with the boost. Yeah. Doesn't quite get the harvester, unfortunately. Do an aggro drill pod. Going off these harvesters as well. He's only actually got one harvester harvesting this whole time, so... Probably can put the wheels on the other harvester, actually. So flame troopers weirdly have surprisingly good harvester damage. So these flame troopers should kill this harvester. Nope, didn't kill it. Sad. Tank will do it though. 
Alright, that should be missile. And we got a bunch of money. Let's get a centurion out. Keep bullying harvesters. I want to keep him from harvesting as much as possible. And then I want to... Get a chem buggy down to stop his lasers. More drill pot again. Not sure what his tech's gonna be. Basilisk again, it's annoying. So he boosted it so it will actually die to one stealth tank volley. That's really good for us. Looks like we're gonna take this missile. Alright, somehow I managed to get two wins with this deck. Um, I think it's just because people are double harvesting. Like the opening blind double harvester, which just gives me the ability to to pressure them and gives me time to get my expensive units out. If we played against a single harvester player, I think we would we would just have almost zero chance to win with this deck. At least if they had air units. Like if they don't have air units, then maybe. But this deck is extremely poor. Rolling three anti-vehicle vehicles was, uh, or three anti-vehicle units that don't shoot up was really awkward. <sighs> we're also definitely getting to the point where we're going to start queuing into good players. Like, we're 11-0 11, 11 now. If we get to 12-0, we, we're going to start hitting, like, very talented players. And then there's just no way we win with these troll decks, unfortunately. But for now, for now we're getting the double harvester players. And that, that makes it a lot easier. Alright, opponent's gone wheels first, which is already a bad thing for us. He went wheels before even harvester, which uh, indicates knowledge of the game at least. Probably gonna go bikes now. Gonna go forward and check. Yep, predictable. He's even trying to block my wheels, so yeah. This is gonna be tough. This guy's definitely gonna be a single harvester player. Probably gonna start spamming bikes at me. No, he's gone tank. Okay. I think the best thing to do is just to make another tank. I want to go mutants, but they're too expensive. So we'll make another tank and we'll stack. I'm gonna go in and try and eat shots with the wheels. Alright, we do get two shots on the tank. We're gonna lose this missile, I think. Yep, can't get back in time. Should have built another wheel, but I was too busy micro the tank. Laser drones. Ah! That's such a nightmare for me. These are so good against my deck. Like, I only have stealth tank that can shoot them. And they're pretty good against stealth tank, so... I don't I don't think we can win this one. Anyone with laser drones in their deck is gonna be... is gonna, is gonna beat us. Because they can just make only laser drones for the entire game. We need to get mutants, but it's so expensive to tech switch into mutants. Yeah, losing the stealth tank there also sucks. He just wants to reload. Come on, come on, come on. Fire! Ah, more laser drones! Ah, run away! Nice. Got the missile. Very nice. If we can get a harvester kill, that would be pretty big. Chemical warriors. So we need chemical buggy. We just don't have a good answer to laser drones. That's the problem.
Yep. Opponent knows we don't have answers to laser drones. Oh, we didn't kill that one in the middle either. And that's it. I think we're done. Yep. We can't. We just can't beat laser drones. Our deck is simply incapable. Three anti-vehicle vehicle type units like Mutant Marauder, Stealth Tank, uh, Mutant Marauder, Scorpion, and Centurion is just too much of the same unit. Yeah, there was no way we could beat laser drones, I don't think. It was close, but yeah, no way we could beat laser drones. Alright, on to the next deck. Oops, I need to turn it on. There we go. So first unit is going to be... Giga Cannon. Yeah, I mean, that guy didn't, like, he didn't replay that game that well, because he could have made only laser drones, and I would have been dead. And he didn't realize that at any point during the game. Alright, so we've got laser, we've got Giga and Fnatic, pretty good start. Uh-oh. Rockworm. Less good. M buggy, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's our four units. Uh, this is good, man. This is a good start. This is this should be a, this should be an easy one. So now we just need lasers and Oksana, and then we just need like an anti-air unit from the from the war factory, like almost certainly just bikes. Although then we're very weak to bombers. Yeah, maybe stealth tank again. I think I'm gonna play bikes. I think we're more likely to run into early game. Um, we're basically playing a five card deck. We're unlikely to really make rockworm. I think we're un I think we're more likely to run into venoms and talons and so on than than the bomber style units. So I think we're gonna play the laser the bikes. Also, bikes can actually beat bombers if you spam them and play it right. This looks pretty good. Um, I think we could probably get three more wins with this. We could probably end up fourteen one with the wheel, but let's find out. The Rockworm is pretty bad. It is basically a five card deck, but it's a good five card deck, so. Establishing battlefield control. Alright. We've got a we got a like respectable deck this time. Whoops, I forgot I didn't have wheels. Alright, we'll go bikes first. It's gone rifles, no big deal. I'm gonna go missiles next, so we'll just back up. We'll probably just go straight into chemical buggy. I'm gonna send them both his harvester as well because he's gonna respond with another missile trooper. Or jump jets, well, same thing basically. And we'll just go into fanatics. More bikes for this Talon. Easy first missile. Off his harvester. 
two harvesters now, of course. So we'll just park our units on the harvesters. Iron cannon. Alright, fair enough. Get your cannon down. Might go for the base. I'm gonna park my fanatics in the cloud so they die and boost the Giga. All right, cool. <laughs> this deck's like pretty decent. We could, uh, we can definitely get three more wins with this. Alright, so we're going to open Harvester Lasers. This time I remembered what my deck was. Oh, and it's gone Rifle, so we'll back up, make some Fanatics. We're going to try and do the thing where we tank with the lasers and then go in with the Fanatics. He's probably gone for a second Rifle. Oh, he's gone Missiles. That seems like a mistake. Alright, well we're just going to push with Fanatics then. Gonna get very aggressive here. Alan, alright, well, that sucks. Alan does go down to my boosted lasers. And we'll get some more fanatics in here. Oops, that was meant to be fanatics, not bikes. Need to get a Giga pretty soon as well. I guess there's not really a lot of point getting Giga against his deck from what we've seen so far. Alright, so that should be first missile. Keep making fanatics, I guess. There's an Orca. Try and get some pipe missiles on it before it kills them. Alright, actually just killed it outright. It's pretty cool. How close would we have Rockworm? Rockworm actually looks very bad against my opponent's deck. We've only seen like Orca, Talon, and Infantry. Yeah, I think both Giga and Rockworm are looking pretty poor in this matchup. We can maybe make lasers, but we don't really need to. The bikes are getting more than enough done. Oh. Well. Alright, cool. <laughs> Not sure what my opponent's other units were. Take a quick look. It 
was Mammoth Hammerhead. All right then. So it was like an air mammoth deck, but he didn't build a second harvester. Oh, okay, that's fine. We can cancel that. All right, so was that one one more to go? Two more to go? Might be able to get the fourteen one with the wheel. I feel like we got some pretty we got pretty lucky during this run. <laughs> I had quite a few opponents who who chose poor strategies against my weaker decks. I think if uh, if our deck had been a little bit stronger on the the one that lost to the laser drones, if that deck had been a tiny bit stronger, I think we would have won. Would have won the molt. Alright, so opponents open rifles. We'll get some fanatics. On double rifles. So we're gonna go double fanatics. Double fanatics uh, is much more expensive, but obviously we'll push in and easily kill double rifle. I wanna keep our lasers around in case he goes into a vehicle answer. Yep, there's a talent. Let's get ready to make bikes. There's a mohawk, that's fine, we've got boosted lasers. Could be a pretty easy first missile. Ooh. Got more bikes and fanatics, I think. Fanatics actually have good vehicle damage, so pretty happy to let my fanatics fight his um fight his pit bull. Do actually need to kill this turret, I think. Trying to walk away from it will just cause us to take more damage than trying to kill it. More bikes. Could maybe make a rock worm, but there's not a lot of point. It doesn't seem very good against what our opponent has. Alright, looks like we take it. So I think that's 14-1 with the wheel. We got a couple of terrible decks. Still went 5-1 with the terrible decks, but yeah, unfortunately the um, the one that couldn't beat laser drones and we ran into that guy playing laser drones. That was unfortunate. But yeah, there you go. 14-1 with the wheel. Um, that was pretty fun. Uh, the wheel only has Nod units on it. I think it would be nice. I think maybe next time we'll do a wheel with Nod and GDI. Or I think... Um, I think the guy who made the wheels has made a wheel that has like deck archetypes rather than straight up units. So maybe we'll try that next time. But yeah, that was uh, quite a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me just load up my value calculator and make sure. So I, let me just tell you guys what, what the value on champs is. I'm pretty sure champs is one of the best um, if you're if you're getting like high win rate. Yeah, so champs champs at 14-1 is very good. At 15-0, it's basically the best premium in the game. 14-1, um, it's slightly worse than resource challenge 10-0, I think. It's very close, but I think the labs slightly are slightly better than the crates and, that you get. Uh, I would say the cutoff to rerun, uh, sorry, the cutoff for buying premium is about 12. If you're less than 12 wins, I don't think the premium's worth it. Uh, and the standard track value is pretty bad, so it's not worth rerunning just for standard rewards. You want to do it, and you want to do well, and you want to buy premium. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you next time.